The first step is to find the Hughes Library website. It's conveniently located under the Monmouth College website Quick Links. On the library's website, there's a tab that will help you locate particular databases by title or by subject. Today's tutorial will search a database called Academic Search Ultimate. Patrons connecting from off campus will simply use their Monmouth College username and password to log in. Before we actually search the database, these are the goals of today's tutorial. We're going to discuss keywords, limits, subject terms, how to obtain the articles, and lastly, how to save what you've found. Here we are in Academic Search Ultimate. This database is a collection of both popular and scholarly periodicals, organized by fields and made searchable for researchers looking for information. You'll remember that scholarly periodicals report on original ideas and research, and are subjected to a peer review process before they're published. Popular and news periodicals are not subjected to the same rigorous review process. This database contains both types of periodicals. Let's explore the topic food security and students. When we type our keywords into the search boxes, it's useful to divide them into concepts. Notice that the database suggests additional related words and phrases. So let's search both food security and food insecurity. By using the word or in between our phrases, the database search will require that either one or both of these terms be present in the articles we retrieve. This is a way to broaden our search by using synonyms and related terms connected by the word or. Another tip is to use quotation marks around our phrases. For example, if we place quotation marks around food security and food insecurity, our search will look for these specific phrases, which increases the relevancy of our search. Our topic also includes the keyword students. Another tip is to use an asterisk at the end of a word which is a truncation indicator. This allows for multiple endings of a word. By truncating student with an asterisk, our search will retrieve both the singular and the plural form. Let's try our search. Here's the results of my search, 777 scholarly or popular periodical articles. After looking through my results, I know that I always have the opportunity to modify my search based on the results. In this case, I've looked through some of the citations and noticed that the words college and university appear quite often. This is one way for me to qualify my search and help narrow it a little bit, so I'm going to add that to my search. So here's our search results after adding the words college or university. There are a couple other limits that we may want to utilize in this database. On the left hand side, we can select to only see results from scholarly peer-reviewed journals. As I look at my results, I may start to notice subject terms. Food security is the most often assigned term found in these results. So think of a subject term as a hashtag. It describes the important subject of the article. Let's limit our search to the subject food security since that seems to be the standard vocabulary used. If we scroll down and again look at our limiters on the left hand side, we can select to limit our search to the 291 articles that use the subject, aka hashtag, food security. And here's our results. You'll notice that many of the articles have full text. If you don't see full text, don't worry. Utilize this red Find This Item button. By clicking on the button, a new tab will open and show you possibilities for finding the article in other locations. 
In this instance, the full text has not been found in any of our other databases. If it was found, a link here would lead you to that full text. Click on the links available to see if there are options in our library catalog and in Google Scholar, and if not, utilize the Iliad account to place a request for the item. Iliad requests the article from libraries that have access to it, and you're sent a link to the full text of the article for free. To utilize Iliad, simply put in your Monmouth College username and password. The citation is automatically transferred from the database we were in into the blank fields of Iliad. Simply monitor your Monmouth College email for notification that the article is available, and items usually arrive in one to three days. Lastly, you'll want to save the articles and citations you find. Here are some tips. Put the articles that you'd like to utilize in your folder. You can access the folder from the side view or the top button. These citations can be emailed to yourself and they will provide a direct link back to these citations and the full text. Another important tip is to resist the temptation to utilize the URL at the top of the database search screen. Instead, if you want to save a URL of a particular citation for an article, enter the full citation by clicking on the title of the article and utilize the permalink feature. This provides a stable URL that you can email to yourself and it will lead you directly back to this particular article. And finally, don't forget to ask a librarian for assistance via email, chat, or text. Find the contact information on the Hughes Library website, library.monmouthcollege.edu.